Hey everyone, I'm John, your friend in tech. I'm a software engineer and content creator living in San Francisco, and this right here is my desk setup. I live in a one bedroom apartment, so I'm limited on space. So I do all my work here for both my nine to five and my creative work. So this is where I code, where I take my meetings, where I film my YouTube videos, where I edit my YouTube videos, where I watch YouTube videos. You get the point. It's basically, I get a lot of work done here. And so it's really important for me to have a functional and efficient desk setup. I actually made a video a few months ago where I talk about my entire desk setup, everything from my desk to my webcam and everything in between. But since then I've made a few changes. I bought some new desk accessories to really level up my my workspace to make it more practical and more functional. When it comes to choosing what I put on my desk, I definitely favor functionality over aesthetics, but I do think there is some value in having a nice looking desk setup. So I try my best to buy items that match, that look good, that really helps create a uniform, clean looking desk setup. Okay, let's just jump straight into it with the first item, which is the Keychron K6. This is a compact wireless mechanical keyboard. It's a 65% layout, which means it has 65% of the keys you would find on a full size keyboard. So you'll notice that there's no function row and there's no numeric keypad. So you can use it wirelessly using Bluetooth or you can plug it in via USB-C. And the reason that I prefer using a USB cable is that I have two different computers. And so basically whichever computer is plugged in is automatically connected to the keyboard. I don't have to worry about switching them in a setting or whatever. It's just always ready to go. You can use this keyboard on Mac or Windows. It has RGB lights, but I just use it without it. One of the downsides of this keyboard is that whenever you plug it in and out the lights reset and so I always have to manually turn them off but I do overall like the general ergonomic design of this keyboard so technically this is not my keyboard I'm actually borrowing it from a friend if you watch my channel before you know that I use a Vistles V84 keyboard and I still stand by that it's a great value pre-built keyboard and actually these keycaps are from that keyboard the reason that I'm borrowing this keyboard is because I'm considering building my first custom mechanical keyboard and I'm leaning towards having a layout just like this. So I wanted to give it a test run before fully committing because custom mechanical keyboards are pretty expensive. I thought I'd miss having the dedicated function row, but I surprisingly don't. I can still easily access them by pressing the FN key. And I realized that I don't even really use the function keys that much. And it's funny, I really just wanted to try out this keyboard for the layout and because my friend had one already, but I also think it's a great value mechanical keyboard as well. So if you wanted a pre-built 65% layout keyboard, this will do the job at a pretty affordable price. And here is a little audio test test. And just as a reminder, I'll be sure to link everything I talk about in this video in the description below. These will be affiliate links that are at no additional cost to you, but they do help support my channel if you use them. And if you've been liking my content, another way to support my channel is to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. The next item I want to go over is the Elgato Key Light Air. This is a dust light that is meant to illuminate your face when you're doing any kind of video work. Lighting is really important for video because it helps show your face, makes the image clearer, and it creates a more professional tone for your video. This this item is perfect for when you're on a video call or you're recording a video or even streaming a video. Depending on your use case, any light will do, but I really like this product because it looks sleek and it has a lot of functionality. The light is diffused, which means that it creates a nice soft light on your face. And even when it's pointed at your face, it doesn't hurt your eyes because of all the technology they put into it. The LED quality is great and it doesn't give off any heat, which you do have to worry about with other lights. I like how it sits on my desk and it has a weighted base so I can actually move it around pretty easily with without worrying about it falling over. You can tell they were really thoughtful about the design of the light because it has a cable rail that allows you to hide the cable and that helps reduce visual clutter on the desk and makes your desk look really nice and clean. You can control the light with either your phone or your computer with their app. And in the app, you can adjust the brightness of the light as well as the color of the light so it can match any of the lighting in your space. This light is really adjustable. There's two different knobs on it, one that adjusts the height up and down and another to adjust the angle so that you can point it wherever you want. I actually own other Elgato products, so I have this extension piece that allows me to adjust the angle even further. With this additional piece, I can point the light all the way down to light up just my desk, and this is helpful for when I don't want any of the light on my face at all, and I just wanna use it as ambient lighting. The next desk accessory is a tablet holder, and this one is actually advertised for bikes, treadmills, and microphone stands, but I use it as a mount for my Elgato key light, and I think the two complement each other really well. 
So I'm a software engineer and I develop on mobile devices. So it's really handy for me to get my devices off of my desk. And this gives me back a lot more usable space. And again, reduces the visual clutter of my desk. As part of my day-to-day -day work, I'm frequently coding on one screen, so my monitor, and then I'll deploy those changes onto whatever device I'm developing on. And by having this mount, I can actually put the device at an ergonomic height at eye level where I'm no longer needing to look down. And I can instead move my head to the left. And this really helps reduce neck strain. It's a seemingly small change, but it's definitely a a game changer when it comes to my workflow. Another cool thing about this duo is that I could put my phone here and turn on the key light and it creates a really awesome minimal setup where it's at a great angle for my face and has great lighting. So if I wanted to create content here at my desk with my phone, it would be super easy to do that. So it's really easy to adjust and it will fit a lot of devices. You can rotate it to be either in landscape or portrait. Here's what it looks like with my 12.9 inch iPad Pro with a pretty bulky case on. A neat feature of having both an iPad and a MacBook is that you can use the iPad as a second monitor and create a dual monitor setup and that's really useful especially if you have a desk like mine where I don't have enough space for two monitors. <laughs> The next item I want to go over is from the sponsor of today's video and that is the Devoom D2. So this is a pixel art Bluetooth speaker with a lot of functionality. If you're younger, you may not know this, but this is actually what computers look like when I was growing up. It looks very retro with the large screen and mechanical keys and the joystick kind of looks like from an arcade game. I've seen this on a lot of other creators desk setups and I always thought it looked super cool. I was going to buy one, but the reviews for the Android app were really bad. So I decided to wait. That was about a year ago. And after trying the app for myself, it seems like they made a ton of improvements because it works really well for me now. In terms of features, there's a ton, but here are my top five. Number one, it's a display. You can show pixel art designs, animations, and text. You can choose to create your own, or if you're like me and artistically challenged, you can use the app to download any of the pixel art created by the community. It's pretty cool. There's a ton of designs on here that will fit whatever aesthetic you're looking for. Number two, it's a speaker. You can connect any device through Bluetooth and it'll play audio through the speakers. The sound is pretty good to me and it can actually play pretty loudly too. Number three, it's a smart alarm clock. It can wake you up through light or sound. And personally, I prefer to wake up with no alarm, but I know that's not realistic for everybody. I think this is a cool option if you're someone who likes having a physical alarm clock that isn't your phone. Number four, it has games. It's kind of like having a mini arcade on your desk. The games are really easy and simple, which make them even more fun to play, but do be careful because you can end up spending a lot of time on it. Number five, my favorite utility feature is the stopwatch. I like doing the Pomodoro timer technique where I'm super focused on one task for 25 minutes and I really like having it on this device instead of my phone because I'm not tempted by any of the social media apps on my phone. And it's a nice constant visual reminder of how much time is left. Also, can we appreciate the packaging real quick? It comes with a nice little gift box and also a hard case that you can reuse to store anything. Inside the box, you get a USB cable, a well-needed manual, and also a bunch of stickers that you can use to customize your device. Overall, I think this is a really cool product. It adds a nice pop of color to my desk, and I think there is a lot of utility and fun aspects of having this device. One downside that I can think of is that it is a bit expensive, but I noticed that it frequently goes on sale, so do keep an eye out for those if you're interested. Thank you again to Devoom for sponsoring this video. The next item on my list is this vertical laptop stand that can hold up to two devices. This is perfect for my setup because I have one laptop for my 9 to 5 and another laptop for my creative work. Having both devices on my desk makes it really easy to switch devices because all I have to do is change which laptop is plugged into my dock. Now there's a ton of different docks like this on Amazon but I really recommend this specific model because there's no branding on it and it looks so much better than all the other docks that have a huge logo on the front. I really like having this vertical dock because it means that my laptops take up less space on my desk which is really important because my desk is a bit on the smaller side so the more usable desk space I have the better. I chose the black color because it matches the rest of my desk aesthetic but it also comes in silver and space gray. This one is easily adjustable so you can adjust it to fit whatever devices you have. On the inside there's this rubber material that helps protect your devices from scratches and also helps to make sure that they don't accidentally slide out. It's made out of aluminum and it actually has a good amount of weight to it that makes it feel really sturdy. Through my testing it will take a good amount of force to knock it over 
over. With that said, I do have it placed behind my monitor and my desk isn't usually lined up against the wall. So there is some risk of my laptops falling to my floor, which I don't like. And so I do have another Elgato arm right behind it just to avoid any disaster. Up next on my list is this leather desk pad from Amazon. It also happens to be the cheapest coming in at just $12. So I used to use a black merino wool pad from Delta Hub, but it started to fray. So I really wanted a material that wouldn't do that. I also like having a light and bright workspace. So I chose a light gray, which also matches my mouse and my light keycaps. It comes in multiple sizes, but the one I have is the 31.5 inch to 15.7 inch. And I think it fits really perfectly. In my day-to-day -day use with my keyboard and mouse on top of it, I don't find it to be slippery, but it can definitely slide around with a minimal amount of pressure. For the price, it's definitely a great buy and I'm still happy with it even after using it for a few months. My next desk accessory is actually for the bottom of the desk and they are caster wheels from FlexiSpot to go with my FlexiSpot desk. So this one might not be for everyone, but I really like having my desk on wheels because it makes it really easy to move my desk around. The wheels are pretty tiny, so I was worried about them not being strong enough, but they work really well even with all the stuff on my desk. In terms of features, they were really easy to install, they roll smoothly, and they even have locks to make sure that the desk doesn't slide around when you don't want it to. The reason I wanted wheels for my desk is because I live in a one bedroom apartment and my idea was that I could move my desk out of the way when I wasn't using it to free up some space. But I also learned that having a desk on wheels comes in super handy for filming YouTube videos because I can angle my desk however I want to so that I have a nice background and aside from that it's just nice to have the option to switch it up every now and then sometimes I like to be able to look up and see the sky and sometimes I like to have the window to my side and these wheels make it really easy to do that one thing to note if you want to add wheels to your desk is that you should have a decent amount of cable management right now I only have one wire that's sticking out from my desk and that's because I attached a power strip to the bottom of my desk and so all I have to worry about is that one wire whenever I roll my desk around. If you saw something on my desk that you want to know more information about that I didn't cover in this video, be sure to watch my next video where I talk about everything on my desk from my monitors to the computers I use to the mouse I use, basically everything that I didn't cover in this video. And if you like the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.